Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the old stream farm. We need to find a way of making money pretty sharpish because it's the 2nd of May and we've got a negative bank balance. So I reckon the best thing to do, now that we realise that sheep are good on conditioned grass, the best thing we can do is to get the front the bucket on the front loader and we'll get the whole crop silage sold. I still want to go ahead with my um my plan to uh oh dear let's not drop that one let's drop the uh let's drop the one on the front there uh yeah so i need to plan to get my um the meat factory installed and then we can uh start making money that way I say start making money that way obviously we're gonna have a a lot of waiting to do before the animals get that old but But yeah, we'll need uh, we'll need the animals to be able to do that. Where is ah? There it is. There we go. That's what I wanted, and we need the trailer. So where have I left the trailer? Anybody? There it is. Right then, let's go and get all the silage that we have loaded up and then we'll find out where the best place for it is. There's um, yeah, not going to be an awful lot to do in these few months, we might be skipping through, through a few months. We, um, yeah, we need to make some more uh, grass silage possibly even need some more hay not sure at the minute but let's get all of this put into the trailer I don't even think this will be a trailer load, to be honest, but let's give it a go. It might well be.
probably more there than I think there is. It's certainly filling up very quickly <laughs> down the right hand side. This is a bigger pile there. But yeah, we need them. Um, the other reason for selling this is we need these bunkers cleared out, or at least one of the bunkers cleared out for the maze silage when we get around to doing that. I don't know, it's a good, a good little while off yet. But we need it, we need it ready. I was wrong. There's another 1,200, oh no, it'd be 2,269 litres over and above what fits in the trailer. So, where are we going with this then? Let's have a look. Whole crop silage. So, what does that look like on here? Slurry manure, grass silage. Uh, is it in alphabetical order? No, it is not. Um, is it further up then? Oh, crop silage. So at the moment, biogas plant would be the place to take it. And the price is pretty miserable. But, needs must. So, biogas plant. Where's that then? Ah, over there. Lovely. Let's go and take it over there then. So, um, for now, all the field work is fairly done. It is just animal feed, keeping the animal pens, uh, what do we call it? Fed and cleaned. So we need to clean up the muck out of the animal pens. Well, not all of them. The sheep don't need cleaning out, but the uh, pigs and the um, cows most definitely do. Right. We have to go up round here and then we'll have to turn right at the top. It's a one-way street. And that should take us down to roughly where the BGA is, which is horrendously useful, because that is where we want to be. Okay. Right hand side of the road, right hand side of the road. Come on now. We can do this. Here's the BGA. It's not far at all. So the entrance must be over there. Stop here and then pull out. 
So here we go. This is the entrance of the BGA. It's a one-way street. And this is where we need to put the silage. In front of the digest anaerobic digester. Here we go then. Oh, I might have moved. All right. Well, this is bringing in a bit of money anyway. That's not a not a bad lot of money, I suppose. Not a bad lot of money at all. So yeah, so that's now in there, so they'll use that, but they've paid me uh, fairly miserably compared to if I owned it myself. But that's okay. Right then, let's get back to the farm. And we are going to make up a mix for the cows. But no, that was it was good to sell it to the BGA. It means I don't have to faff around with renting the train or anything as well. So, yeah, I think that's pretty good. There we go. We'll pop straight across and we can head down next to our field. Superb. That grass is already cut. I don't own that. I don't own that field yet. I wonder if our other grass field is ready because we could be making proper grass silage out of that. Or even three sections of it because we need to make silage. Uh, we've probably got enough hay for now, but we need to make some uh, just conditioned grass. Because that is all the sheep really need. Right, where shall I put the trailer? Let's pop it in here for now. Here we go. Just there. And then we need to get onto the feed mixer, the rustle mash, which looks like it is just full of hay at the minute, which is a little bit worrying. It does say it is full of hay, yes. And we don't really want hay in it, do we? Although, no, actually, no, sorry, it's not full of hay. It is 39% full of hay. So, it is possible. Set that to mixing. So, if we've got 39% of hay in there, that's actually pretty good. So, what we want is a little bit of straw. Uh, let's say about 1500 litres of straw and we want whole crop silage um, how much whole crop silage do we want up to 50% whole crop silage so 6,000 let's say 6,000 litres of that not whole crop silage sorry but um, well, we could put the whole crop silage in I suppose that's probably not a bad idea. I wonder if it will take two different types of silage. It may well do. Once it's in there, it's silage, isn't it? Uh, no, it says grass silage or maize silage. So let's not do that then. Just in case. So we'll pop this back over in here for another time. What do you mean this action can't be performed here? 
Why can't this action be performed here? I said dump it just outside then. There we go. Suppose we can feed it to the sheep at some point. Right then, so six buckets worth of maize silage then. That's what we need. Providing that means we can still fit some straw in, which I think we can. Six pockets, or yes, it is six pockets. I think I have to work this out. No, it'll be seven, seven buckets. Is it a well, is it a 12,000 litre capacity or a 14,000 litre capacity? Let's have a look. It's a 12,000 litre, so it is six pocket loads, which is. Absolutely fine. Or we don't want to go over 50 percent, do we? So, and this bucket sometimes picks up a thousand and sixteen liters, like it has done just then. So we'll do five bucket loads, and then we'll move on to. That would be load number three. And here we go with load number four. One more load of that. And then a little bit of straw. Hopefully we'll fill up the rest of it with straw. I don't see why not. It can take up to 30% straw. And I don't think we're leaving 30% space in there. Thirty percent of twelve thousand is four thousand, is it not? Why is that all gone all over the floor? There we go, that's better. Right. Yeah. Let's draw then. Let's pop the bucket down here. Pick up the bale spike and we'll go get a bale of straw. We are going to need more straw, so if we don't need whole crop silage, which I don't think we do, I'll do both of our crop fields, both of our, is it wheat fields? Yeah, wheat fields that I planted, I'll do both of those as wheat, because pigs could do with wheat. Um, chickens have wheat. Oh, look at that, only 300 and... 50 left in there, right, we'll grab another one. Uh 
Okay. That went badly. Right, we'll just take this one for now then. Because we're not even we're not gonna need all of this one. So, yes, there we go. We've made a good mix. Now, we're probably going to need another one, so... Let's go and empty this. And we'll make another mix. Getting quite a lot of poo in here now. Maybe not, not as much as we have seen. We can... Uh, Sort that out another time. Right then. We shall quickly get another load made up. Although, because I haven't got a lot of cows, could have a lot more than five, you know. We're not actually eating it that quickly anyway. But one more load won't hurt. Right. I want maximum three and a half thousand of this in there. Oof. I said three and a half because I didn't want to go over four. Well, that'll do me. We'll need some hay as well. So I'm going to pop this down here. And we'll get a hay bale. I mean, when I say pop, I mean use the barn to helpfully extract it from the fork. Now this hay bale's only got 2,000 litres on, but we'll go and get rid of this one for now and then we'll come back for another one. There we go. So that is not too bad. A little bit more hay, I think, and then we'll go for the silage to fill it up. So the, um, the meat processing plant and everything is going to cost me quite a bit of money. Not sure how much yet, but it is going to cost me quite a bit of money. So if we take this to about 75%. Oh, no. No, that would be a bad move. Poop. Yes, that's far too much in there. Ah, oh. damn it! Did not get that through because it's not seventy-five percent of the whole whole lot. It's seventy-five percent as a ratio of what we've got already in there. Oh well, we'll have to empty it out on the floor like we did last time. So the hay will be emptied, and then we'll have to top up with silage.
Right then. So, uh, yes. Yeah, so we've got to empty it. Um, Hmm, yeah, gonna need more than that. So the minimum silage we can have is fifteen percent. So fifteen percent is two thousand litres. So as long as we come just under ten thousand litres with this, like that, we should be able to get a regain a mix by filling the rest up with silage and then all that hay can go into the next load let's give that a go So this and a little bit more and we should have a decent mix hmm. okay so yeah yeah one more we should take the straw level oh, I'm hoping the straw level comes down to 30% and then we're all right <laughs> going to be uh, edge of edge of possible type stuff right this last sort of 300 ish damn it it hasn't worked Oh. Hmm. I don't know if we can recover this mix. I really don't know if we can recover this mix, but let's give it a go too much straw in. My calculations were incorrect. Because of course 4,000 litres of straw is 33%, which is why I should have stopped the first time. About 3,500 litres would be fine for the straw. Right, uh, let's go in here. Oh, oh, that is absolutely not what I wanted to do. Right, as you can see from the mixing ratio there we want a little bit more silage and I mean we could even put some of the hay back in so let's go up here we'll put a little bit of hay in there and then we'll fill it up with silage and hay to try and get the straw amount 
back down to a reasonable level. Oh, this would have been so much easier if I, my maths was any good. Oh, that looks like forage to me, potentially. How are we doing them? So we got we've still got 32 litres of straw. 32% straw, I should say. <sighs> because it's only letting out hay. If I put any more hay in, the roughage is just going to shoot right up. Oh, it's switching between all three. Oh, well, that's interesting. That's very interesting. It's got an equal amount of all three in there. So does that mean... It's topping up all three. No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so. Put some more hay in now. That he's emptied some straw and stuff out. Might be able to recover this. At least for the last load. And I think we'll give up doing the cow food for today. After this. Yeah, there we go. That's that recovered. In fact, we can top it up with more of the hay that's out here. Providing we don't go over the limit. Actually goes a long way when it's on the floor. go that's all the hay cleared up and we've still got a viable mix for the cows which is amazing but let's pop this uh, back over here don't know what we're going to need again so i'm not going to change the tools on it or anything that can stay there and we can get this tmr unloaded Now that it is TMR, that is. Because, yeah, we've got too much roughage in there. In there now. But, they're going to take a long time to eat that anyway, so it should be alright. Uh, generating slurry, which is good for next year. Nowhere near producing milk yet. But, they're producing eggs. Which is good. We need to actually need to get some more base food in there so let's go and actually have we got space for it yes we have yeah so base food is the corn so let's go get that corn and stick it in the chicken hut Let's go all the way around the farm before I remember that I left the trailer in here.
Chickens everywhere. They're multiplying. So, corn is what we need. Where's corn? There it is. Right, so we haven't got much of it anyway. The chickens are not going to take this much. But we'll just bring the rest back. Oh, hello. Maybe I should uh, have a wider swing at that one. Yeah, we'll bring the rest back and put it back in the silo. Once I've found the trigger for this thing, which, believe me, might take a long time. Ah, got it. Oh, they did take quite a bit of it. At least their base food is up now. We'll give them some protein food next. And then get the moisture food up. But that energy food needs to come right down. Really should have had better control when I fed them before. Put this 240 litres here. This can go back in the in the um, pit. Hopefully we'll have a lot more off next year's harvest than we do at the minute. These chickens are going nuts. I'm not sure that there is anything at all left to do today. Um, the fields are all looking good, like I said. Last month for planting corn and soybeans. Barley harvest starts next month, so I'm really hoping that we're going to be able to find a harvesting contract in here for barley. Oh, hello, Gavin. Uh, yeah, if we can find a harvesting contract here for barley, then that would be amazing. George? <sighs> because... Well, wait a minute. Oh, we don't need that anymore, do we? Because we found out what the... <sighs> so, I'm still stuck on the plan of creating grain grist, and I don't need grain grist because we have this which does everything so Pigs are good. They're all at 25% reproduction at the minute, so that's really good. Uh, so we should be getting some baby pigs soon. Cows haven't hit puberty yet. Chickens reproduce like mad. But I've turned off overcrowding for chickens because they reproduce like crazy. Although, having said that, I mean... <laughs> These chickens here could go for slaughter. These ones, nine months. We shall see. Anyway, like I said, I think that's us pretty much done for this episode. So, uh, thank you for watching. Probably was a shorter episode than usual. But, uh, like I said, not a lot going on. So, next month we'll be looking for... We well, might, might do some contracts. Because I think the animals are all happy. 
No worries there. And, yeah, contracts would be the obvious thing to do, I think. Ooh, look. Still can't pick that up. 240 kilos. But it's fallen out of there, so that's good. So, yeah. I will... See you all very soon. Bye for now.